Listen to part of a lecture in an economics class. Today, I'd particularly like to talk about distribution strategies and explain how one strategy differs from the other. Distribution strategy is a plan used by a company to make a product or service available to potential customers at optimal distribution costs. There are two distribution strategies I'd like to look at. First one is intensive distribution. The goal of intensive distribution is to maximize as many outlets as possible to maximize sales. When there is a mass marketing product, the company tries to deploy intensive distribution to penetrate as much of the market as possible. Typically, FMCG, that is, fast-moving consumer goods, like food, snacks, beverages, soaps, and other consumables, are examples of products that use intensive distribution. One of the biggest advantages of using intensive distribution is that it increases product awareness. To give you a better idea, cola drink is the best example. You see, cola is almost everywhere. Because cola is seen everywhere, consumers can easily recognize the brand. The company can build trust with customers, and this will create a more loyal customer base. So, we can clearly see that the cola company will have consumers, who will always buy their cola drinks, wherever they go. Another distribution strategy used by companies is, selective distribution. This strategy carefully selects multiple channels, and outlets, in specific locations. This means a small number of retail outlets are chosen, which cover a specific geographical area. Since selective distribution pays attention to particular locations, and targets a specific market of consumers, it provides consumers with a more customized shopping experience. Selective distribution is used commonly with products, such as computers, and home appliances, where consumers will compare the price and quality of the same object in different stores before making their purchase decisions. Using points and examples from the lecture, explain the two distribution strategies and describe how intensive distribution is different from selective distribution.